Hi, this is Dunamis333. Um, today, I just want to talk about what we must do to become uh, children of God. Uh, because we cannot inherit God's kingdom unless we become children of God. Even though we're created by God, this does not autom automatically make us children of God. Because um, we, we are created with free will, and the free will uh, we, are, we are we're meant to choose. Do you want to become a child of God, dwell with Him in His kingdom, or dwell somewhere else you know, with the devil? We have to make that choice here. Nobody makes that choice for us. Um, and this is our, our nature: is to live as we please. This is what the Word of God says in First Corinthians six nine twelve. Do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived: neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor sodomites, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners will inherit the kingdom of God. Then hmm? he goes on in um. Galatians five nineteen to twenty five. Uh, now the works of the flesh are evident, which are adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lewdness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, contentions, jealousies, outbursts of wrath, selfish ambitions, dissensions, heresies, envy, murders, drunkenness, revelries, and the like. Of which I tell you beforehand. Just as I told you in time past, that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. To inherit the kingdom of God, we have to become children of God, sons and daughters of God. And the only way to become a child of God is to receive God's nature. And the only way to receive God's nature is to believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. That Jesus Christ is God himself manifest in the flesh. When we believe this, we receive the gift of eternal life, His life in us, God in us, living out His righteousness. This is why we are here on earth, to make a choice between God or the devil. That's what we're here for, to make that choice. He says um, in 2 Corinthians 5.17, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, is a new creation, a new creation. In Colossians 3, 9, 10, it says, Do not lie to one another, since you have put off the old man with his deeds, and have put on the new man who is renewed in knowledge according to the image of him who created him. Put on the new man. When we, are, when we are become uh, Christians, born-again Christians, we put on the new man, and we live by the new man. We live for God's kingdom, for God's glory. We live to manifest his righteousness, to keep his commandments. Um, Ephesians 4, 24 It says, Put off concerning your former conduct the old man, who grows corrupt according to the deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that you put on the new man, which was created according to God, in true righteousness and holiness. This is what we uh, we do when we are born of God. We want to put on the new man. And look what it goes on to say here. It says, uh, this is in 1 John 3, 7 to 10. Let no one deceive you. He who practices righteousness is righteous, just as he is righteous, just, just as God is righteous. How is it we can be righteous just as God is righteous? Because we are living by His Spirit in us. God is living out His righteousness in us. So when we, are, when we accept Jesus as our Lord and God, He makes our heart, our soul, His permanent residence. So when, when we practice righteousness, is God practicing righteousness through us. And is molding us, changing us, transforming us into an image of himself. Preparing us to dwell forevermore in his kingdom. This is the, the purpose of man. To choose to live for God. 
whoever whoever conf this is in first John four fifteen to seventeen, whoever confesses that Jesus is the Son of God, God abides in him and he in God. God abides in you. When you believe and confess with all your heart that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, He can now live by His Spirit through you. He can manifest love, righteousness, holiness, kindness, you know, love for the marriage covenant, love for having and raising children, love for, you know, being a good man, being a good woman. And manifesting righteousness wherever you are. The, the first people that should see that you are, you are being transformed into a child of God, if you've never been, uh, you've never believed in God in your life before, is your family, your wife, your 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 husband, your children, your parents, your brothers, your sisters, your your colleagues at work, your friends. They should see the new man, new woman manifest when you become a child of God. The idea that you can become a child of God and remain as you formerly were is a fallacy. Anyone that tells you that is, 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 is lying to you. Because when you become a new creation, that new creation will, will fight the old man to manifest. Yes, there's going to be a bit of a battle because the old man will want to continue living. But, you know, it, your old man is a servant. It's not the master. The new creation is the king is the, is the queen is the ruler and he wants to rule over this flesh hmm? the flesh is evil and uh, it needs to be subdued and when you become a born again christian that's what starts to happen you, as you read the word as you pray as you start to manifest start to live the christ life hmm? For well, this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not burdensome. For whatever is born of God overcomes the world. Mm? You're born of God, you have the power to overcome the world, to overcome sin that is in the world, which is basically the, the body, which is the, what we have in the world. Um, so this is, um, this is what it takes to become a child of God. Believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Receive eternal life. The, the life of God, his love, his righteousness and start to manifest that day in, day out and that's what prepares you for his kingdom um, you, 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 you pray, the first thing you've got to do, you know, you pray and um, you, you, know, you pray, it could go like this um, Lord Jesus, I'm, I'm a sinner, forgive me I accept you, Lord Jesus, as my Lord and Savior, I believe that you are the Son of God. Uh, come and dwell in me. Come and make me uh, whole. Cleanse me from all my sins and manifest your, your, your righteousness in me. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And when you pray that prayer, you start to read your Bible every day. Remember to pray the Lord's Prayer in the morning and at night. And just start to manifest righteousness. What will happen is that the, the, the desire to to live uh, for God will start to manifest. You start to desire, thoughts will come to your mind to do things differently than you did before. Like if you're, if you're someone that, maybe you, as a man, maybe you, you, you speak to your wife in a, in a way that is not right. That will change. You won't do that. You won't, you won't say that things like that anymore. You, you start to speak more kindly. Your behavior will change. You know, if you if you're a woman and you have a you speak to your husband in a very disrespectful manner, that will stop. You won't want to do that because the new creation that's not how the new creation lives. The old person will be subdued. And if you're a, ch a child and you've got parents, then you're still at home. You 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 won't want to disobey your parents. You you want to they ask you to do something, you'll do it. You respect them. You see, the, the, <clears throat> the new life will manifest depending on what, whether you're male, female, a young child, an adult, an elderly man. The, the new life will manifest. You will manifest and you'll see it. This is, it, this is how eternal life manifests. It, mani it manifests as the love of God, the righteousness of God, the works of God. And that's how you're changed from glory to glory into a child of God fit for God's kingdom. Have a great day. I'll speak to you soon.